hey good looking welcome back to my channel and if you're new here I'm Kendra Morgan official I like to put out content weekly centered around makeup brushes that aren't Morphe single eyeshadows and sunscreen so if you like that kind of content make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's get started today I am putting together my own curated Valentine's Day palette and I couldn't think of a better person to collaborate with than none other than my good friend and fellow youtuber Rupi. she is amazing we have sat down and talked about all of it together really uh, we brainstormed this idea that we knew we wanted to collaborate on something but we didn't know what and then we finally came together we were going to collaborate on our version of a perfect valentine's day palette made up of our single or singles from our collection i guess i should say so after this video make sure you go check out her video because she's putting together her own rendition of a valentine's day palette and i can't wait to go see it so make sure you check it out after this i'm going to go ahead and link her channel up here excuse me up here so you guys can go and find her channel go and hit up is going to be the same video we've been talking about this ruby is my go-to girl she like i can tell her anything and she always is so empathetic and so sweet and listens to everything no matter what so i have really I have been so blessed to be her friend and get to know her. We also have previously collaborated on a video together and I will link that in the I and down below as well. It's our domestic violence. That's how we met. And ever since then, we've just kind of grown together and really grown our channels together. So I am so excited to see us do this together. Uh, just us, this collaboration of this palette together. She's my go-to girl when I'm asking about makeup in relation to anything because she's been doing it since she could crawl basically and so I'm still fairly new. I feel like I'm still fairly new to it anyways and she's been doing this for a while now so she's somebody that I always consult like well should I get this should I not and when we go on low buys and no buys together she's the girl that I talk to like when I'm getting anxious and I want to purchase I'm like hey look talk me down from this ledge I don't need this makeup you know to help me help me help me and she's always right there to help me so make sure you go check her out because she's so sweet she's so wonderful and I am just so 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 sure you're going to love the palette that she puts together and the palette that I put together and curated for you guys, I'm going to showcase for you guys. I'm going to give you guys some swatches and I'm going to make sure that I do a little mini tutorial as well. And um, without any further ado, let's get started. But do make sure you go and check out Rupi's video as well and give her some love. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Here is my perfect Valentine's Day palette. So my favorite color is green. However, when it comes to Valentine's Day, I think of pink and purple as my two favorite colors. I'm not really a red girl, so I chose pink and purple. And Rupi's favorite eyeshadow is blue. She used to be into greens, but now she's into blue. So I chose one special shade in this palette that I will feature on here for you guys that puts, it's a multi-chrome and it features both blue and purple shades. So I feel like that's the perfect nexus for us. Ooh, let's get some swatches going here, guys. First shadow that, and it's all Sydney Grace, except for one in the middle. And I will tell you guys what to put in your shopping cart on Sydney Grace's website if they still have it available um, so that you may order it. Whoopsie daisy. But I am, today I'm featuring a shadow from Davina because that's what I have. But you can also find another really great shadow that is also a multi-chrome on Cindy Grace's website. And when we get there, I'll tell you what it is. So the first shade is Dream Maker. It's a very, very soft, beautiful, pale, shimmery pink. Sometimes I look all this stuff up and I give you exactly what Cindy Grace's website dictates to me or, you know, tells me that the shade is and sometimes I just make it up on the fly and today I'm making it up on the fly so I hope you guys enjoy that <laughs> the next shadow is a matte shadow and it's a very very beautiful pale pink it's called fairy tale third shadow in the collection that I curated with this palette is immortal and it is such a beautiful um, I would say it has a lavender undertone of a shift on the the 
no, that's just on my screen. Okay. It's, it's a pale pink with a very, very cool shimmer to it. And it's, I mean, it's like a foil. It's like a foiled shadow, really, honestly. Second row, first shadow is go for it. This is just a beautiful um, lilac shimmer shadow that I have found. Okay, this next shadow, I don't have the correct lighting for, but I do still want to try and give it to you. you guys swatched up as best as I can, and that is Magnetosphere, and it's the only one that is by Davina. And I show you guys the swatch on my finger, and then I show you guys the swatch on my arm as well, and then finally, I'm giving you guys a swatch over a black base, and all I did was I just took some black eyeliner, laid it on my thumb so that you guys can see the bend in my hand and you guys can see that beautiful shift that beautiful duochrome shift I apologize I don't have the lighting set up that Davina um, she told us about so I'm not able to really capture those shifts as well as I could but. okay and you you guys know I'm a duochrome girl so you guys know that I was gonna feature a curated palette without putting a duochrome in and I went ahead and threw in the greatest gift it has that beautiful pink with the champagne green um, duochrome shift to it. I feature this shadow in several of my other videos. I feature it in, I think it's one of my either warm or cool tone palettes. I believe it's my warm cool tone palettes. Um, it's just such a beautiful shade to own. It's a classic pink with that green duochrome shift. So there you have it. Okay, let's get into the last and final three shades. So I chose Spring Fling, and it's just a beautiful romantic pink, shimmery. It has a little bit of a blue shift to that shimmer as well, so like kind of a maybe a lavender shift. It's just so subtle. It's so romantic. It's so beautiful. Really enjoyed putting that into my palette. The second to last shade that I put in my palette is Predictable. It's a matte. I would describe it as almost like a cool toned mauve lavender or a dusty rose maybe, but it does shift ever so slightly cool toned on me and it looks a little bit more uh, purple. So I enjoy that shade. And then for the final shade I put in there is this rich, vibrant purple Pandora. So that is what I feature. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's just so purple. It's so like royal purple. I love it. Okay, so those are all of the shades swatched for you guys in the palette. I want you guys to check out this mini tutorial that I featured right here on my channel. So I'm going to, and it's just going to be real simple, it's going to be three shadows, so we will stick to the purples today. I, I do apologize, I didn't write any notes down, that's so unlike me, actually. I'm kind of half, I'm kind of halfway um, organized when it comes to this. This is, I chose the scratchiest brush, and normally I do try to like show close ups of my mini tutorials um, I did get some feedback for that so thank you so much for that but I have in the past shown you know close-ups and things of that nature and uh, sometimes a girl get a little lazy and so I'll just sit back here in my little comfy seat that creaks by the way and I will just put my stuff on <laughs> All the way back here and not adjust my camera and lens and everything else okay so just buffing predictable in the crease there and giving myself just a little bit of a transition shade do is go ahead and lay down this shade as a base and then lay down this duochrome over top of it just to see if that kind of is able to give us that beautiful duochrome that we want to see that shiftiness and oh man you could just walk out the door like this look at that mm -mm -mm. looking soft and romantic so let's go ahead and try some of this pandora on a brush just grab a little of it put a little bit of it on my eyes and i'm just gonna be dabbing this all over really 
I'm not sure if that's going to be a dark enough base, but the idea was that it was going to be a dark shadow for that duochrome to lay over. So we will see whether or not that is possible. And I think I am going to just bring it up ever so slightly above the crease just a little bit. And that's what I'm going to blend out. But I'm going to keep that duochrome a little bit lower. Okay, so I'm going to blend that out, I think, yeah. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, very beautiful. And it's purple, and it's really, like, romantic looking. That's what I want. You know, I don't, I don't know. Should I just use my finger? I think I might just use my finger for this one. So now I'll dip into Magnetosphere by Davina. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. And then just apply it to the bottom portion of my lid. See that, guys? So this is staying on the mobile lid, and then that Pandora is that nice transition. My watch thinks I'm working out. Little does it know. <laughs> just blending. But it has kind of turned into my cardio. Although I am starting back on my P90. I had to take a week off because I got really sick and I just, I couldn't sleep because I was coughing my head off. So that was really kind of what limited it. All right. Nobody really cares about that. So there we go. Beautiful. Again, I really like this soft, subtle look. This is something that my husband would appreciate me wearing out. Not so much this. So that's what I would wear out but I feel like this is Galentine's Day <laughs> it's about our gals that we love and appreciate so much and mine is Rupee I'm gonna ask her to be my Galentine I'm filming this before Valentine's Day by the way so I don't know yet what her answer is it's so beautiful Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and finish up, probably just put one more layer on with some um, setting spray and I will meet you back here to finish up. Okay, we are back, got the look together. I just have one final thing. So I just like, when I put that stuff on there, I just like went, you know, ham. Let's add some of this, Dream Maker, excuse me. Let's do some of that to the brow bone. I think that's really, really pretty. Let's do some of the greatest gift in the inner corner. So it kind of brings out like a little bit of green, which is my favorite color, by the way. Ooh, I think that's pretty. There you have it. I also put just a little bit of the leftover multi-chrome and just kind of Put it underneath the eye if you will and there you have it so i mean if you looked at this palette you wouldn't think it could perform like this but i definitely saw the potential i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoyed checking out ruby's channel let her know i sent you guys over there i can't wait to see you guys in my next video